What's up, you beautiful enlightened souls? I hope you guys are having a blessed and awesome day. I'm Fred Martinez, and I'm the author of What the Fred? And part of the continuation of the lessons on What the Fred, we're on lesson number 12. Embrace rejection and use it as fuel to work harder. Be more persistent and develop a stronger mindset. Rejection is a natural part of the process of achieving greatness. All successful people view rejection as an opportunity to learn and grow rather than, their, rather than a setback or failure. And how I view rejection is this right behind me is my rejection wall of how many coaches who have rejected me and didn't look at me as having the ability to achieve greatness. The, the coaches would always could cut me from the team. They would tell me I'm too short, too slow, not strong enough, whatever it is. And yet what ended up happening is I used that rejection to become faster, stronger, and smarter. And when I say that is because of you're using that rejection to push harder. When somebody rejects you, you're not, they're not, it's not about something personal that you're gonna take it in. But for myself, I use that rejection as fuel to fuel, to help propel me. Whereas now in my life, I don't use rejection as a fuel because I don't care. I live my life the best that I possibly can by looking in the mirror. The only person in that that I have competition with now is that person in the mirror. How I was yesterday, how I can be better today and how I can be better tomorrow. Always pushing myself to become a better person. But when you talk about rejection, when you're getting rejection, when I'm saying that, that right there is a beginning fuel to help you propel you to your to the next level in your life. So where their rejection was, I had to work harder. I had to find people that would want to be part of my process. One of my good friends, we would train running up a hill, dragging a tire. And then we would sprint down chasing after that tire tire by doing those types of things and then working on plyometric jumps right after we would do squats as well as run in a ditch that's full of sand i was able to uh eventually run college track as a sprinter the thing is is that as one rejection opens up the door like when i tried out for the sophomore basketball team the coach said i was too short to play on his team i got cut and when I went to him afterwards to see if I can get on the team, he reiterated, hey, you're too short. Uh, you're not what we're looking for. I'm like, hey, you know, it's like, whatever. Um, instead of me feeling sorry about that, I joined the wrestling team. I sucked at wrestling, but I got myself in really good shape. I learned how to train better. And that helped me down the road uh, for opportunities because yeah, I. I I might have not had a bit of, been a good athlete as a wrestler, but what that did is it helped me by uh, using some of those skills, like one, how to cut weight, and I used that with uh, doing Olympic weightlifting, how to go ahead and train effectively, get into the right mindset, how to psych your op opponent out, uh, and many by looking at a lot of the great athletes that, that were part of the wrestling team. Uh, one of the athletes that were on the wrestling team, he ended up uh, was uh, almost made the Olympics. And when you think about what he had to accomplish, many state champions that came out of that wrestling program. I look as uh, they don't know that I was always observing them and seeing how they would handle the stressful situations. And I use that in, uh, in the future years of my life when I was in college and after college and when I was competing internationally. And the thing that I wanted to say is that rejection is just another opportunity. It's for you to say to yourself, what do you want out of it? Like I know uh, in terms on the personal side of getting rejected uh, by an employer, but does not mean that you internalize it saying, hey, that I'm not, I'm not smart enough, I'm stupid, uh, I, I can't handle, whatever it is. It's just how they see things and how you look at it as saying it wasn't the right fit. It's the same thing with life. You know, all these things that are happening for, uh, that's happening in your life, it's happening for you. It's not happening 
to, to prevent you from your growth, it's happening for you to grow. It's pushing you to become stronger. So use that rejection in your life. Look at that rejection and flip it and frame it and look at it saying, look at it as an opportunity to, to become something else. I look at it as what I've done my whole entire life as being an athlete by coaches telling me that I'm not good enough, yet what ended up happening is I proved to myself that I belong and that I can accomplish whatever I put my mind to it. That's the whole thing about rejection is proving to yourself, not to others, my friends. But you guys right now, I wanna say, you guys have a blessed, you guys have an awesome day, be about it instead of talking about it, and namaste.